do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. Hey everyone, Kyle here from Poseidon's Pets. So my last couple videos that I did, I created some duckweed food that my fish, my shrimp, they absolutely loved it. So I went out and got a dehydrator and I've been dehydrating some vegetables so that way I can make another food. I'm hoping that they like it as much as the last one because I, I, I never thought it was gonna be as successful as it was and the fish, the shrimp, they absolutely loved it. So what I'm gonna do for you guys today is I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make this shrimp food and the ingredients are real simple. I dehydrated some zucchini, some sweet potato, and some spinach. I'm gonna mix those dry ingredients with some pureed vegetables as well as some vitamins and some barley. So that way it's a kind of a all plant-based, all natural food for them that they can get a lot more of those vitamins that you know they may not be getting from just the store-bought or supplemented food that you can buy online or or in your stores. If you haven't already, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe, you know, that really does help me out. I'm not gonna make you guys wait any longer. I'm gonna go get my stuff together and we'll get right to it. The dry ingredients that I'm using for this food is dehydrated sweet potatoes. So I stuck these in the dehydrator and zucchini, as well as dry spinach and some barley. What I wanna do for these ingredients is I want to kind of make a powder out of them. So that way when I add them to the wet ingredients, I can mix it all together very evenly. To get this started, I'm gonna add those dry ingredients to my food processor. That way I can process these down into a powder. Now I wasn't able to find much info out there as far as the barley. I know a lot of people have fed barley straw and a lot of shrimp food is made with barley straw, but this is the actual pearl barley itself. So I didn't know if I should cook this. I didn't know if I should add it raw. So I figured the best thing to do would just to be put it in raw so that way it is in more of that natural state. And then as the water in the fish tank soaks it up, it's gonna kind of rehydrate it and give it that, that fluffy appearance. So I'm not gonna use a lot of this because I don't know how it's gonna go. Now for the fun part. Doesn't really look like the sweet potatoes or the barley is breaking down. It's just not getting there. All right, new approach. We're going back to the blender. Let's see if this works. That's why I love this thing. So what my food processor couldn't do, my blender took care of it. Let's throw all this in there too and see if we could get it to powder up. There we go. Now that's nice and powdered up. With all of my food mixes, I like to add a little bit more vitamins to it. So we're gonna start off with C. Kim's Vitality for vitamin C. We're gonna do one cap full of that. And then C. Kim's Reef Zoo Plankton. One cap of that. And then just a dash of Boyd's Vitakim. For my wet ingredients, I'm using organic sweet carrots and green beans. And this is, this is just baby food, so this is a puree. If you look at the ingredients, green beans and water. So all organic, just pureed vegetables. And I'm gonna start out with just half of the jars because I don't want this to be too soupy. Oh yeah, doesn't that look appetizing? Doesn't smell too bad. Now we can add our dry ingredients and I'm gonna add a little at a time and just mix it in so that way it can get the right consistency.
This actually smells pretty good. If I didn't add the fish vitamins, I would try it. So that's not a bad texture. And this is actually gonna thicken up as it sets. I want to be able to spread this out on my fruit leather dehydrator trays that I have. And I wanna use as much of this ingredients as I can so that way I can make as much as possible. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump the rest of everything in. And if we need to add a little bit of water, we can. Look at that. That turned out awesome. This is the fruit leather drying tray that comes with my dehydrator. So I'm just gonna spread this out nice and thin. So that way I can put it in my dehydrator and I'm not gonna have to wait forever for this to dry. I think that's thin enough, that should be good. I'm just gonna use a plastic bag to kind of smash this down and make it thinner. This is actually turning out better than I ever thought it would be. Hopefully during the drying process, this doesn't get ruined. Got the food on there, got the dehydrator set up. So we're gonna pop the lid on. And I'm gonna dry this at the setting of vegetables, which is 125 degrees. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do it for about four hours and then come and check on it. Let's go 130. Now the reason I have this in my garage this thing is god awful. It makes so much noise. I had it in my kitchen and I couldn't stand it. After a few hours, I was, I was ready to throw it out the window. So I hate to do this to you guys, but stay tuned for my next video to figure out how that food turned out, how my fish liked it. I definitely appreciate you stopping by and watching my videos. You know if you love me, you love my fish, you love my videos, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. That really does help me out. Thanks again for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.